What's up guys? Today was the launch of YouTube Gaming. The site actually just launched about 8 hours ago, so it is still the very first day. And I actually managed to get a chance to stream on the site for a couple hours, which was pretty awesome. I then uh, managed to get a look at some other streams, take a look at the site. I'm just going to be doing a little bit of a review. So here we go. Um, keep in mind that I did used to stream on Twitch TV for several years. So this review is coming from somebody who has had previous experience streaming and being on a streaming site. So uh, obviously a review is going to be a lot different from somebody who has had absolutely no experience watching live streams or be being on a live streaming site. So this is coming from somebody who has spent a lot of time on Twitch and a lot of time streaming on Twitch. So <clears throat> here's the main page. It's uh, gaming.youtube.com. You have an uh, embedded live stream. And uh, similar to Twitch.tv, it's a featured stream. I believe it just goes through semi-randomly, uh, so somewhat like what Twitch does. They have pre-approved people who get their streams featured. Uh, I believe the system is the same way. I actually looked at some of the patterns earlier, and it seems like YouTube was kind of promoting their partners and, and people who they were mentioning a lot on their Twitter feed for the past couple of months. So it seems to be the, similar to Twitch's featured stream. You have the front page embedded stream. <clears throat> then you have the live streaming section where you have uh, the top viewed live streams on uh, YouTube gaming. And then you have a spotlight, which is videos and uh, more recommended videos. So only the top section of the site is actually live streams. Now, of course, you can actually go ahead and click on this, and it'll take you to gaming.youtube.com slash live, which is a subsection of YouTube gaming, which is all live streams. And then at that point, you lose the embedded stream, and you just have streams uh, by viewer counts, and you also have this uh, featured section here, featured channels, and you have you could search by games and, and other things as well. So this section, gaming.youtube.com slash live, is only live streams, whereas gaming.youtube.com is not just live streams, it's video content as well. So it's the whole YouTube is trying to get all gaming content into one subsection, YouTube gaming. Now that doesn't mean that if you have videos on YouTube that are gaming related, that they're gonna be completely pulled off of YouTube and they're going to be only on YouTube gaming. It just means that YouTube gaming is kind of a hub for actually finding uh, gaming related content, including videos and live streams. So here we go. We're on the, the live section. You can see <clears throat> you can see the top viewed streams here. And then, of course, as it goes down, they go down in viewer count, <clears throat> just like how Twitch does it. Uh, now, this is the first day. So, of course, there's going to be a lot of good things and there's going to be a lot of bad things. It is Google, so people do kind of have somewhat high expectations but overall just a quick little recap uh, I'm pretty impressed for the first day if you guys remember when twitch came out which used to be justin.tv it was a disaster there were tons of problems it was a very small site um, they didn't have a lot of features that they have now so for the first day of YouTube gaming obviously again expectations are quite a bit higher now that twitch is so well established but <clears throat> overall it's it's pretty good it's definitely a very 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 good start of course with quite a bit of problems that hopefully will be fixed over the next couple of months so I have a list here uh, we'll start with the good because everyone wants to hear the good before the bad so the good things are the video quality is very good um, if you actually click on a stream I'm not too sure that I want to actually click on a stream because I don't want to get flagged for showing somebody else's content so you guys will have to go do it yourselves but if you click on a stream the quality is great uh, you could choose quality, uh, quality options depending on if the broadcaster is streaming at those quality options. It's, uh, the video quality is clear. It's smooth. I didn't experience any lag. The actual streaming uh, content, the, the quality of the stream is, is really, really nice. It is definitely on par with uh, Twitch quality, at least for me anyway. Maybe you disagree a little bit, but it seems to be pretty darn good. Um, the delay is also really good as well. It seems for me the delay has been shorter than delay on Twitch. Uh, some streams it's a little bit uh, a little bit different, but it seems to be a little bit shorter than Twitch delays for for most streams. Uh, maybe around the same on other streams, but the delay is definitely not bad. It's not nearly as bad as the old YouTube live streaming service where the delays could be over a minute long, in some cases even longer than that. So the delay is really really um, it's definitely on par with Twitch for sure if not even a little bit better. 
Uh, another really cool feature, which is something that they've actually been promoting a lot, is the ability to actually rewind the video. So you can watch a live stream live, or you can actually go back and watch the four the previous four hours of content as a VOD uh, in the live stream page. So if you go and take a break or something, you use the restroom, you can come back and rewind the video five minutes and essentially watch the live stream five minutes behind. And you can do this up to four hours um, previous to where the live stream is streaming. So that's a pretty cool feature. I think a lot of people like that. Uh, it's something that Twitch doesn't have. For Twitch, you actually have to go to the VOD and, and actually watch the VOD. So that's a pretty neat feature, uh, something that YouTube was promoting a lot. So <clears throat> those are the two, two to three best things that I found about the site. Uh, it's the video quality is good, the ability to rewind is good, the delay is is good, and uh, everything else I think uh, definitely could be improved. Now I'm not saying that everything is horrible and everything else about the service is bad, but I definitely think <clears throat> that there's a lot that could be improved. Um, one of the things is if you guys are used to Twitch, which I'm sure a lot of people are, one of the things that YouTube Gaming doesn't quite have right is the chat. Uh, the chat is dark, which is good. It makes it easy on the eyes. I think a lot of people for Twitch use better Twitch TV, which turns the chat darker, which does make it easier for the eyes. So that's good, but the chat seems to be a bit laggy. Uh, the emotes are, I hate to say it, but they're not good. Uh, they're just not very well done emotes. Uh, when people use chat for live streams, they really want to feel at home. They want to feel a part of the experience. They want to feel immersed. You know, the immersion is really important. And the subpar emotes that YouTube chat has so far kind of take away from that experience. Uh, that's why people love, you know, Kappa and stuff like that on Twitch is because it really just kind of makes you feel at one with the whole broadcasting experience. So I think uh, as time goes on, they'll definitely have opportunity to um, make changes to the emotes, make things better, make the chat a little bit more fluid. It was quite laggy today. Uh, you would be looking at the chat, and then it would stop, and all of a sudden, two pages later, you know, the chat would start going again. But of course, it is the first day, so these kinds of things are going to happen. But the emotes definitely, definitely need some work. Also, it's really difficult to moderate your chat. On Twitch, it's really easy. There's just a, a little button that you click right next to your chat. On YouTube, there's still a button there, but you have to go through a menu just to choose the option of what you want to do to moderate your chat. So you have to click on a little flag for every comment, and then you have to actually go and pick what you want to do, whether you want to ban the person, remove the comment, and you have some other options as well. Uh, another thing which is huge for broadcasters, this is a big negative, is it's really difficult, if not impossible, I still haven't figured out a way to do it, to change your title and your game without completely stopping your live stream. Now this is a must have feature for live streamers because there's a lot of live streamers who will not play just one game during their live stream. They'll be playing several games, they'll switch from game to game to game, and they'll constantly be changing their title. Um, and if you have to stop your live stream just to change that information, it's a huge, huge negative. It's really simple to do. It should be a really simple fix. Uh, I don't see why they wouldn't be able to implement that the next couple of weeks. It's just very basic. And again, it could be me, but I didn't find a way to change that without actually completely stopping your, your broadcast and completely changing it. Because what, what YouTube is trying to do is they're trying to kind of, uh, you know, integrate the whole live streaming and the whole making videos and producing content on YouTube. They're kind of integrating it into one. So the way that it works is you start your live stream, you stream, and then as soon as you're done with your live stream, it publishes your video as a YouTube video. So if you're constantly changing games and changing your titles, obviously that doesn't really make sense, but Google and YouTube have to understand that live streaming isn't quite exactly the same as making a video. <clears throat> A lot of the times when people are making a video, just like I'm making a video right now, I'm not looking at my chat, I'm not socializing with other people, I'm not answering questions in chat. Live streaming is a much more social experience, whereas making videos is a much more direct uh, experience, at least for me anyway. So it's not quite the same and you kind of have to treat them a bit differently, which is something that I don't think YouTube and Google really uh, it has quite gotten the feel of yet. But I'm sure they'll get there eventually. Again, just being able to change your title and being able to change your game, those are two really important things that are an absolute must-have for any broadcaster. Um, another thing that's kind of a pain 
is the fact that right now when you have to start your live stream you actually have to go from YouTube gaming all the way back to YouTube and you're using their old service YouTube live just to turn on your live stream again I'm not sure if this is just something that they haven't updated yet something that they haven't quite integrated yet into their YouTube gaming site but it just seems a bit weird that you go from YouTube gaming all the way back to YouTube and then to YouTube their old live streaming service just to turn on your live stream and again that's where you actually that's where you actually update your title and, and, and do all that stuff so it seems weird that you don't actually do everything on YouTube gaming you have to go all the way back to another YouTube service which is just weird uh, other things are the the lag obviously uh, glitchiness lag uh, those kinds of things you can't really complain too much about because it is the first day I'm sure it's not Google and YouTube's intention to keep things laggy for very long. It's just the first day of launch. Obviously, there's a lot of you know viewers and a lot of stress and just a lot of things in general. And I'm sure these kinds of problems will be fixed. So, you know, it's happening. But these are not huge things that you can really keep your mind on for too long because these things should go away pretty soon. So, <clears throat> um, that's pretty much it, really. You guys can go ahead and, and take a look for yourselves. If you guys find anything else that I got wrong or anything that you guys find about the site, um, feel free to leave a comment. You can get a, another look at it, gaming.youtube.com. And of course, if you just want to go to live streams, gaming.youtube.com slash live. There's a whole bunch of little things that I didn't mention as well. Like, why are some of these thumbnails big and some of them aren't? Um, my thumbnail when I was streaming was big for a while, and then it was small, and then it was big. Is there any reason? Do they just not want the site looking so blocky? Or are these featured streams? Because mine was constantly moving around, and sometimes it was bigger, sometimes it wasn't. Seems a little bit weird. Um, I don't know. I, again, these are just little things as well. You know, things like, who are the featured channels? Are these just people that YouTube is promoting, similar to Twitch? Um, I did not see myself on here, even though for a while it had about 100 to 120 viewers, and there were a bunch of featured channels that had about 30 to 30 to 40 viewers so I'm guessing those were just channels that were featured by uh, featured by YouTube um, it's unlike twitch it's a little bit more the the layout of the the UI of the site is a little bit I don't want to say not as well done because again we're not used to it keep in mind twitch has kind of been the standard for live streaming for so long that people have gotten used to that layout but again, YouTube Gaming, Google, they're kind of trying to integrate videos and live streaming into the same platform. So <clears throat> it's not as clear. Live streams can be a little bit lost. Um, when you search a game, let's just search a game. Let's see. Let's go search for Diablo 3 right now. If we search a video game, uh, the live streams will be integrated into the same page with videos. So we have a live stream here. We have a video here. Live stream, live stream, video. It just seems a little bit weird. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's something that'll change. Maybe it's something that YouTube is trying to get people is to really just mix live streams and videos. Of course, you can go here and just click on live and that's all the live streams. But on the default page, it's mixing live streams and videos. And YouTube gaming tends to do that a lot. So it can be a little bit off trying to find a live stream. You get you run into a bunch of videos and eh, it can be a little bit difficult to, to get used to. But I'm sure, um, I'm sure people will get the hang of things uh, eventually. So that's, that's going to be the end of my review. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. And, of course, feel free to uh, keep an eye out on my YouTube gaming live streams coming out soon. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel, that will also give you notifications for when live streams go live, which is a neat feature that you could just subscribe to a channel to know when your live streams go live. It's the same system. And uh, tell your friends. Tweet it out. Do what you got to do. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you all soon.